Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of reality TV. I mean, the boxing world. And Ryan's team, his legal team, has said that two of the bottles that he contained was contaminated. And I seen this online all last night. You seen some of the major channels, you know, on here, you know, dancing and, you know, <laughs> you know, all that saying, basically saying that Devin Haney's fans deserve O'Ryan Garcia an apology. Now, this is this is my thing. So Ryan's legal team is saying this. Vada isn't saying this. The New York State Athletic Commission isn't saying this. This is all being reported from Ryan's team. Don't you know Ryan has been wilding out these last several several weeks? You drug to the woods. The higher ups is, is against you. You never took this. You post vitamins and said that this is where I got it from. But then the, the vitamin company said that that's not where it came from. You took a hair sample that wasn't with the New York State Athletic Commission. You did it on your own and said, oh, I'm clear. And now you got this. You, you're just now turning your, your pills. So, like 78 said, and please subscribe to his platform. If Ryan things were contaminated, then they would order those same pills from the lot number and test those as well to see if those were contaminated. They have not came out with a ruling. They have not came out and said that they were contaminated. You're hearing this from Ryan. Ryan and his team is trying to do anything to get the casual fan to believe is a conspiracy. Uh, they are out to get him. And this is, this is ridiculous. And I really, I really am ashamed as a fan because a lot of the Ryan Garcia fanboys, and they're going to come on here, or a lot of these fanboys, they don't even watch boxing. They don't even know how performance enhancements are tested. What's the process? They're just going off of what Ryan's saying. At the end of the day, Ryan Garcia had performance enhancement drugs in him. This is what the New York State Athletic Commission said. This is this is what Vada is saying. So I don't I don't get why y'all are just going for the okie doke. But you know what? Forget it. Like they always say, you see a fool, you play a fool, and that's all Ryan doing. But no. Have you heard this from the New York State Athletic Commission that they were contaminated? No, Ryan Garcia is telling y'all anything, and that's just what y'all, man. I don't know. I, I'm <sighs> boxing again. That's why boxing is where it's at because you have these fans. They don't even care. They don't even care, bro. But yet you have other fighters like a Conor Ben who test positive, and you don't see nowhere near people sticking up for him. I was watching a lot of people from the LDBC yesterday. And all I seen the comments. Oh, oh, Ryan, Ryan is innocent. Ryan is innocent. Look at you. Uh, apologize. Apologize. And all these different boxing platforms I'm in. But nobody has posted what the New York State Athletic Commission said. Not one person. They're all sharing what Ryan's legal team said. They can say anything. Ryan says anything. Again, this is the same guy who literally said, I was drugged to the woods and forced to see things I wasn't supposed to see. And ain't none of his loyal fan base said anything about that oh man this is Ryan being Ryan this is it's just sickening man I'm 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 yeah I just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think <laughs>